Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to enable the Windows Recall AI feature on Windows 11 version 24H2 and higher releases. If you are setting up a new device or installation on a compatible computer with an MPU with more than 40 tops of performance, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and at least 256 gigs of storage, you will have the option to enable or disable the recall feature on the computer. However, you can still enable the new Timeline AI on Windows 11 from the Settings app. At the time of this video, the feature isn't available because devices with supported hardware are not yet available, and the feature is only available in preview. As a result, this video is more about explaining instructions than a hands-on video. Okay, let's dive into the steps to enable the Windows Recall AI on your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, if you have a compatible computer to enable the new recall feature, you just need to open Star and look for Settings. And then you need to go to Privacy and Security. And in here, you're going to find a new recall and a snapshots page and when you go inside of that page you will find the save snapshots option and the only thing you have to do is just turn on this toggle switch and that is all there's to it to enable the timeline ai on your computer once you enable the feature you are going to notice that a new recall icon is going to appear on the system tray right here you can see how that icon looks like and you can click that to open the application and access different settings you're also going to see a new recall button that will appear next to the apps on the taskbar now if you know that you have a computer that is compatible with the recall feature and you're not able to actually enable the feature one thing you can do if you're running windows 11 pro or higher releases is to open the group policy editor and then go to user configuration administrative templates windows components and in there you're going to find a windows ai folder and in here just make sure that this option is set to not configure click apply okay and restart the computer and then check the settings app again and make sure that you can turn on the feature and that's it remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing